Shout out to the WTC family all over the world. For we still chosen if they asking, baby. Let me tell you some chosen ones. You'd be surprised at how many people really thought that they had the upper hand over your destiny. Amen. Until one day, you just couldn't be controlled anymore, chosen ones. And this is why people don't like you, man. Let me tell you something, man. When people feel like they can't control you anymore, when people feel like, hey, man, they can't boss you around anymore, when people feel like, hey, man, they can't get in connection with you anymore, hey, man, they, they can't get you to do the things, hey, man, that you used to do anymore, that's when people start to hate you. Understand what I'm saying, baby? But you got to realize, man, there's a real reason why God removed you from certain people's lives. It's simply because, guess what? People carry on controlling spirits, man. People, hey, man, they want to boss you around and, and, and try to tell you what to do and how to do it and, and when to do it. But they fail to realize, guess what? God got the last say-so over your destiny. God got the last say-so over your life. God got the last say-so. God is in total control over you, chosen ones. Can nobody control you? And people don't like what they can't control. You got to realize, man, you are in a movement all by yourself. You are in a movement, in a class of your own right now. Well, I'm going to tell you, you are really calling the shots right now. God gave you a way of escape from people that really thought they could control you, man. And this is why, amen, you were set back. This is why, amen, you were so anointed, but you were still struggling. This is why you felt like you couldn't make it to the next level by being with certain people because people was trying to control you. They were trying to set you back. But God had to remove you because he like, look, the plans that I have for you is to give you a hope in the future. Come on, who I'm talking to. God was like, I have to remove you because the plans I have for you is to give you an expected end. Understand what I'm saying right now, children? And you got to realize that God knows exactly what he's doing. God didn't remove you from people's lives because guess what? He was against you. No, he was actually trying to fight for you. He was fighting for your freedom. You free at last right now. You don't know how I feel just by having freedom. You don't know how good I feel right now, children, just by being in, in control of, over my own life, over my own destiny, man. I can move the way I want to move. Hey, man, I ain't got to go hang out with people no more. I ain't got to go do this with nobody anymore. I ain't got to listen to nobody. I ain't got to let people walk all over me no more. Because let, let me tell you something. I'm in control over my own destiny. You can't control a chosen one because we're going to have a mind of our own. See, at first, they, they could control us because we were lost. We were vulnerable, chosen ones. I understand what I was getting ready to say. We were too nice, being too kind to people. So guess what? People use us as a doormat, and they started to walk all over us. People use us as a footstool, but God said, no, I'm going to make your enemies your footstool. God said, you're not about to be no footstool for nobody. Because let me tell you something. People will really take your kindness for weakness. And once they see you kind and once they start using it as, as one of your weakness, that's when they will try to control you. Don't let nobody control you. Don't nobody tell you what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Don't let nobody tell you where you should go and where you can go. This is your life. Glory be to God. This is your future. You got to realize that, guess what? God is in control of it all. Don't you be afraid to put in the blow and say, hey, God's in control of my life. God is in control of my destiny. God is in control of it all. And that's why people don't like you. And because guess what? You don't do the things that you used to do anymore. You don't go hanging out, hanging around places that you used to hang around anymore. And people feel like if they can't get a hold of you, if they can't control you, if you don't move how they move, that's when they begin to hate you. That's when they begin to stop liking you because guess what, baby? As long as you got King Jesus in your life, you don't need nobody else bossing you around. As long as you got Jesus in your life and he's ordering your steps and he's and he's and he's uh, directing your path and he's leading you amen, on this path towards righteousness. And he's telling you where to go. And he's telling you what to do. And he's telling you who to pray for. And he's telling you who to bless. And he's telling you, amen, what you should do next. You don't need nobody. So you got to realize, man, one thing I hate, Charles, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. One thing I dislike. Is when somebody would try to control me. I was in a narcissistic relationship where she thought she had the upper hand over me. 
You will soon find out about somebody, amen, when they either making more money than you, amen, amen, when you living under their roof, glory be to God, and when God put power in their hands, you'll be surprised, amen, or how people really feel about you and, and, and how they will try to, you know, control you and manipulate you and gaslight you into thinking that, guess what, they really for you, but in all actuality, guess what, they really against you and trying to control you. But no weapon that is formed against you, chosen ones, shall be able to prosper. It will not work. And look at you now, man. God set you free from all that. God set you free from these psychopaths who thought they can control you. And this is why you will never fit in in such group of friends because the people that you're trying to fit in with, guess what? They're going to try to control you. No, let's go over here. Let's do this today. No, 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 no. God said, I'm getting ready to separate you because guess what? You're getting ready to be in control of your own life. You're getting ready to be in control of your own destiny. You ain't got to follow nobody else's footsteps. So let me tell you something, Charles Williams. The best version of you is not that I can do anything version of you. The best version of you is the self-disciplined version of you. No, I don't go over there anymore. I don't hang out with these people anymore. I don't drink that anymore. I don't smoke that anymore. Understand what I'm getting ready to say. You're not going to walk over me anymore. I have boundaries now. I have standards now. I got respect for myself. You're not going to just use my kindness for weakness anymore. Because let me tell you something, children. What I'm going to tell you that God has literally taken over your life and people don't like you because the simple fact, guess what? You're doing it without them. People don't like it because guess what, baby? You are in control over your own destiny. You are achieving milestones and you are accomplishing goals by yourself. Could you imagine if you were still in that narcissistic relationship where people trying to control you, boss you around, tell you what you should do, tell you what you shouldn't do? Could you imagine where you'll be right now? You wouldn't even be where you at right now if God ain't never removed you from that, from that, from that psychopath, from that narcissistic relationship. Come on, talk to me. God said, I got to separate you because guess what, man? I got big plans for you. God said, I'm getting ready to separate you because you know why? I got a big calling for you. And guess what? You got the wrong kind of spirits around you that's trying to control you. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. Even if you may not be where you want to be or even though you 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 may not be fully, amen, in your calling or you just trying to figure yourself out, you still don't let nobody control you. You got to figure this out by yourself. Can nobody else write your path for you? Can nobody direct your path? Can nobody control your destiny? Can nobody lead you, amen, into your, into your destination but yourself and God? Don't let nobody control you. Don't let nobody control your mind. Don't let nobody control your spirit. Don't, don't, don't let nobody, amen, try to make it seem like, amen, that you lesser to them, that they, that they, amen, that they got the upper hand on you because guess what? They doing certain things for you. You'd be surprised. That's another reason why people think they can control you because guess what? They making more money than you. Amen. You probably living under their roof. Glory be to God. Uh, people think because they doing certain things for you that they, guess what? They can tell you what to do, when to do it, and, and how to do it. But they fail to realize, guess what? You can have less than people and still be in control of your life. I'm telling you what's going on. You can have less and still be in control of your destiny. As a matter of fact, people don't like you because guess what? You had less and you still did it. You still made it without their help. Without their control. You had less. And people, hey man, guess what? When people was hating on you, uh, hey man, when you in, if people was hating on you when you ain't had nothing, just imagine how people feel about you now that you got something, now that you're in control of your life right now. Just imagine how people feel about you now. You got your own place. You got your own car. You got your own calling. Glory be to God. You walking in your own purpose. All of a sudden, I'm getting ready to say, you making major moves. You like a grasshopper, small leaps, but major moves, small leaps, amen, but, but major, but major, major plans. You making small leaps, but guess what you're doing? You taking big steps into your next destination, baby. I'm telling you what's going on. You in total control over your destiny. And thank God he removed you out of that narcissistic relationship. Thank God he removed you out of them group of friends who was controlling your mind. And, and you wonder why you was going certain places that they were going. It's because guess what? People were controlling your mind. But God said, let this mind be in Christ Jesus. 
You got to realize, Charles Jones, guess what? You are in the class of your own right now. And now you see people for who they really are right now. And just to make a long story short, this just happened recently. I was just at my daughter's soccer game. And I'm on the sideline coaching. Glory be to God. I'm on the sideline rooting for my daughter. And her mother going to turn around talking about some, shh, you ain't the coach. Shh, be quiet back there. You ain't the coach. I must have turned around, looked at her and said, you ain't calling nothing. You ain't running nothing. You ain't controlling nothing no more. And you wonder why you still by yourself. Because you got to control the spirit. You try to control everybody, what they doing. You need to start worrying about yourself. You don't control me. That's my daughter. If I feel like I'm going to coach on the sideline, I'm going to coach her on the sideline. Other than what I'm getting ready to say, if I feel like I'm the referee on the sideline, I'm the referee. I'm going to root for my daughter. And God will try to, he will show you like this is the real reason why the relationship didn't work in the first place. I don't need you shushing me. But before that, she was very controlling, man. It felt like I was dating my mom. I don't want to feel like I'm dating my mom. My mom gone. Rest in peace to her soul. Them days is over with. I am a grown ass man. Excuse my French. I'm a grown man. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be controlled. I got a mind of my own. All of a sudden, I'm getting ready to say, children, and you got to realize when you got a mind of your own and you're doing the will of God, you're doing what God tells you to do. You don't do what other people, amen, used to tell you to do. You ain't following nobody else's footsteps. You ain't you ain't under nobody else's control. You got your own place. You got your own car. You making your own, own money. You making your own boss moves. Let me tell you something. People will stop. They will, they will stop loving you. They will start hating you because guess what? They can't control you. The minute you tell people back, back and give me 50 feet because guess what? I'm not fucking with you no more. Oh, that's when they're going to stop. St st uh, uh, they go, that's, that's, that's when they going to start hating you. Trust me when I tell you. And people don't like it because guess what? They can't get a hold of you no more, man. They can't tell you what to do no more. You bounce back from rock bottom. You bounce back from that narcissistic relationship. You bounce back, amen, from these evil family members that was trying to control you and you was living under their roof at the time. But look at you now, baby. You calling shots, man. You the big boss. You in the movement all by yourself, man. You can go where you want to go. You can do what you want to do. You can make money whenever you want to make money. You an entrepreneur, man. You destined for greatness, man. God said, guess what? I have to put you by yourself because guess what? I am in control of it all. God said, I have to put you by yourself because guess what? I'm in control of your destiny. Glory be to God. God said, I have to put you back by yourself because guess what? I'm in total control over your whole life. I'm in control of your prayer life. I'm in control of your next move. God said, guess what? I'm going to order your steps in my word. God said, when I say move, you say just like that. And you got people really sitting back. They're like, man, oh, oh, it's like that now. I'm talking about, man, you pulling up in the fanciest cars hey man you 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 putting that key into that ignition to that two-story mansion and you'd be surprised how many people know you out here living good you'd be surprised how many people really watching you stalking you monitoring you they see you getting in your fancy car they see you pulling up to your your two-story mansion and they tell me oh it's like that now oh it's like that now Oh, you act like you better than us now. You'd be surprised the minute you walk back into their presence. You go to a family reunion. Glory be to God. You go to one of your little kids' games. Or, hey, man, you run into one of your, your, your ex-narcissist lovers, your baby mom or your baby, baby dad, whoever it may be. The same people that try to control you before. And they're going to be like, oh, it's like that now. Yeah, it's like that. Because guess what? You can't control me, man. Because I get my knowledge and wisdom and understanding from God. Don't you be afraid to put in comfortable and say, you can't control me anymore. Because I get my knowledge and my wisdom and understanding from God. And you wonder why, chosen ones, you were stuck at the time. It seemed like something was just holding you back. Come on, who I'm talking to? We ain't got no beats in the background today. So I'm going to preach today. It seems some, like somebody was pulling you away from your destiny. Glory be to God. Because you had a lot of controlling spirits around you. And we were so naive at the time. We were so vulnerable and gullible. We were so lost. 
living in that world. So when you're living in that world, I promise you, man, you're going to allow other people to control you because guess what? You in the world. But the Bible says, yes, we might be in the world, but we not of the world. So when you out there lost, you can't really see your way through. Glory be to God, you still trying to figure who you are. Let me tell you something. Don't you let nobody control your destiny. Don't you let nobody control your next move. Don't you let nobody control your life. I don't care how lost you are. Let me tell you something. God is getting ready to remove you from these controlling spirits. God is getting ready to wipe out everybody that's trying to control your destiny, that's trying to throw spells and witchcraft. You'd be surprised what these controlling spirits would do. When people really think they got the upper hand over you, guess what? They will speak negativity over your life. I'm telling you right now, when people don't get the things that they want from you, they will throw spells and witchcraft over your destiny, but no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. It will not work. Don't nobody want to be in no controlling relationship. Same goes for the women. You need to get out of that domestic violence relationship with that man. If you got a man controlling you, telling you what to do, and you know, amen, he ain't carrying the Holy Spirit. You know he beating you upside the head. You know, amen, he putting his hands on you. God told me to tell you right now to remove yourself right now in the name of Jesus. You need to make a, uh, you need to plan your, your, your exit upon entry. And let me tell you what's going on, ladies. Domestic violence is at an all-time high right now because the woman is allowing the man, amen, to control them. I don't give a damn how strong he is. I don't care, amen, amen, what kind of demonic spirit he carried on him. God did not give you the spirit of fear, ladies. You got to fight back. When you see that first red, red flag of, of a guy trying to control you in a relationship, ladies, you got to, I'm telling you, man, you, you got to make your, your, your exit upon entry. You got to get up out of there. The first red flag, don't wait. When you see true colors in people, when you see people don't ain't going to never change, you got to remove yourself from people, man. I'm not going to have nobody control me. And same goes for the men. You got some women that will really kind of try to control you, fellas. You got some women out there, they really they, they, they really put their hands on you. Believe it or not, women will put their hands on men, too. And let me tell you something, fellas. Don't you hit that woman back. You remove yourself. Because God got a plan for you, kings. God got a plan for you, queens. Don't you let nobody control you. Because let me tell you something. God is, is, is the one that's going to be in total control of your life. God is the one that's going to be in, in total control of your destiny, man. Let me tell you something. That's the real reason why people do not like you, man. And haven't you noticed the same people that try to control you? Listen to me. I'm losing circ uh, circulation in my arm. Lord help today. But haven't you noticed the same people, amen, that's trying to control you, chosen ones, the same people, amen, that was trying to, amen, call the shots of your life. They try to hold you back from your destiny. Look at them now. They still by themselves, miserable, depressed, stressed the hell out, trying to control other people. And God was just trying to show me at the soccer game, man, look, she ain't going to never change. She's still the same. You can tell how people act, their demeanor, their body language. You'd be surprised how many people really think they they in total control of everything and everybody and everything around them. But in all actuality, they need to let God take control over their life, man. You'd be surprised how many spirits people carry on them, man. People be having hide, hidey spirits, prideful spirits. People want to be the boss. But you got to pay the cost to be the boss, chosen ones. And you got to realize, guess what? You pay the cost to be the boss. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below right now and say, I pay the cost to be the boss. So I deserve to have control over my life. You pay the cost. And how did you pay the cost? By removing yourself from that narcissistic relationship. By going through the struggle, by crying out to God every single day and say, Lord, I need you to take control over my life. Lord, I need you to order my steps in your word. Lord, I need you to take control over my mind, my heart and my spirit. People don't realize that being around controlling spirits, man, I'm telling you, man, it can really hinder your growth. You can't do anything. You can't move how you want to move. People are already judging you. Hey, man, guess what? People can't even give you enough time to heal. They can't give you enough time to develop. People want something already established. So when they let you go, guess what? You got to, you know, you got to allow them to, to let you go. God got a bigger plan for you.
And you think people by leaving your life, by people walking out on you, by you getting that divorce, that guess what? That that guess what? All the odds were against you. Let me tell you something, man. It was really working out in your favor, man. That's why that marriage didn't work. Because guess what? You had too many people trying to control you, man. God said, you got a purpose that needs to be fulfilled. God said, I'm not going to let you die out here without you being in control of your own life. God was trying to show you, you can do this by yourself. And the best thing about being free from that narcissistic relationship, narcissistic relationship, the best thing about being free around them group of friends was controlling my mind, having me to go places that they were going, doing the things that they were doing. The best feeling is now I got freedom. You free from all that mess, man. You'd be surprised on how people really was trying to control you. They thought they had the upper hand on you because guess what? You were vulnerable at the time. You were gullible. You were naive. You were lost. But you once was lost, but now you found. Glory be to God. You once was blind, but now you see. People try to make it seem like, hey man, that you was the one that was in the wrong in the relationship. People try to make it seem like, hey man, that you was the one that caused all this drama. You was the one that caused all that confusion. But in all actuality, they was the problem. Because guess what? They were so controlling, demanding, telling you what to do. If you're in a relationship and you feel like, hey man, that you're in a relationship with your mom or your dad, you got to get the heck up out of that relationship. If you feel like you don't have a say so, if you guys can't come into an agreement, if you guys can't be on one accord with each other, amen, amen, in, in the Holy Spirit, you got to remove yourself, chosen ones. Don't let nobody control you. Don't let nobody tell you what to do. If people don't like you, oh well, you don't got to like me. Because guess what? I love me. I love myself. You ain't got to like me because Jesus loves me. And we let people control us in the past. We let people just walk all over us. We, you know, when people were saying jump, you were saying how high. God said the devil is a liar. God says now when I say jump, you say how high you want me to go, Father God. When God says preach, guess what you're saying now? You say, Lord, whatever you want me to do, I'm going to do it for you. Because God is in control of your life. And you got to realize it's not what people do, it's how they did it. It's not what people say, it's how they said it. You'd be surprised how people was talking to you, man. That's how you know people had controlling spirits, man. You'd be surprised on the real reason why people will control you or try to control you is because guess what? They know that guess what? Once you really wake up and realize that guess what? I can do all things through Christ, which give me the strength. Once I finally wake up and realize that guess what? I don't need you anymore. Once I really wake up and realize that guess what? That God is. If God is for me, can none of y'all be against me? If I put my trust in God's hands, if I ask God to order my steps, oh, it's over with. That's why people was trying to control you because they was afraid of your potential. They knew that you were destined for greatness. They knew that you were supposed to be the head, fellas, in the relationship. God made the men the head in the relationship. So when you got the woman trying to be the head, the relationship ain't going to work. You know, I'm going to keep 100 with you. And you wonder why people are trying to get back into your life right now. Listen to me. You wonder why people don't like you. You leaving people on red. They telling you to link up. No, I'm not linking up. I'm good. You ain't on what I'm on. Don't you be afraid of when it comes to say, I ain't linking up with you. You ain't on what I'm on. You ain't walking in your, in your calling like I'm walking in my calling. You're not in your purpose like I'm in, in, in my purpose. Let me tell you something. A lot of people will start hating you because guess what? You making moves by yourself. You doing your own thing. You lighting up your own space, baby. And they can't invade your space. Glory be to God. They can't hinder your growth anymore. Because God took total control over your life. There's nothing they can do to stop you anymore because you are free at last. You are free at last. Thank God Almighty. The chosen ones are free at last. So don't you ever in your life. Allow people to control you, manipulate you, gaslight you, whatever it may be that's going to hinder your growth and hinder your walk with Christ.
You got to realize you got boundaries now. You got standards now. And it's going to piss some people off because you don't do the thing that you used to do. It's going to piss some people off because guess what? You don't go places where you used to go. You ain't got to listen to nobody. You ain't got to listen to your evil family members talking smack to you because you under their roof. You got your own place now. You driving your own car. You ain't got to ask nobody for no ride. You in control of your life. God saved you so you can have total control over everything that's around you. Total control over everything that's, that's just trying to come back into your life. You are in control of everything right now. God said, when I move, you move. And you're supposed to say, just like that. Peter point blank. Only person that's supposed to have control over our life, children, ones, is the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it and that's all. And I don't mind following God because he going to lead me into the right path. He going to lead me into the direction I should go. I don't mind following God because let, let me tell you something. When God controls us, he don't control us out of anger. God controls us. Amen. Amen. He controls us out of love. He controls us. Amen. Out of, out of his authority. God wants the best for us, children. This is why we should just take take heed to God's control. We want to follow everybody else's control. People got bad intentions, man. That's a real reason why they want to control you. They want to control your finances. They want to control the way you way you move. They want to control where you go. They want to control what kind of car you're getting ready to buy. They want to control where you live. The devil is a lie. You're not going to control me. I got a mind of my own. And when people feel like they cannot control you anymore, that's when they will soon to start to hate you. And they hate you because guess what? They couldn't destroy you. They really hate you because guess what? They couldn't hinder your growth anymore. They really hate you because guess what? You doing better than them now. Ain't it funny when you was in that relationship or hanging around with these group of friends or hanging around certain family members? Guess what? You couldn't even go nowhere. You couldn't even grow. You don't even have a mind of your own because you had too many voices in your head. You had too many blessing blockers around you, man. And I would never forget when I first bought my car when I was in this relationship. I bought me a car. And she got mad at the simple fact that I bought myself a car. You got mad because I'm making moves? You got mad because guess what? I ain't got to ask you for no ride no more? You got mad because guess what? Now I can go wherever I want to go. I can do whatever I want to do and you big mad. I have to get up out of that relationship. You ain't about to control me. And then she thought she could put her hands on me. Today, nothing but the trick of the enemy. See, she had a controlling spirit. Try to sling the belt at me. Guess what? The belt ended up hitting you right in your eye. God don't like ugly. I ain't never laid a finger on her. Never. But that's the trick an enemy would do. He would get people to come against you. He would get people to try to control you. Tell you what to do. How you should do it. When you should do it. No, don't do it like that. But God said, no, I got the last say so over your life. I got the last say so over your destiny. I'm in total control of it all. And look at you now, man. You calling your own shots, making your own moves, doing what the heck you want to do, baby. Making your own money. And you'd be surprised at how many people you'd be surprised, man. You could be sleeping with the enemy. You don't even know it. You could be surprised. You could be sleeping with the enemy. And all of a sudden you think these people love you. You think these people want the best for you. But guess what? They really in secret competition with you. You'd be surprised how many people can control you because guess what? They, they feel like you really need them. You don't really need these people, man. And if you're living under somebody else's roof, if you're driving somebody else's car, let me tell you something, give them the goddamn keys. Take this damn car. Take this freaking house. I don't need it. Let me tell you what I have to do, children. When I keep telling you the blessing is in the departure. God really told me, I ain't, man, what I mean to tell you, I ain't never heard a verse from, voice from God before in my life. When God tell you it's time to go, it's time to go, man. I don't care if you got to sleep in your car. I don't care if you're going to be homeless for the next two years. You got to realize that your freedom is more important, man. Your peace of mind is more important than people trying to control you. I'm telling you, God told me to pack my bags and leave when that relationship was over with. I'm like, Lord, where I'm going to go? He said, don't worry about it. I'm in control right now. 
I said, Lord, what I'm going to eat? He said, did I ask you what you're going to eat? Don't even worry about it. I'm going to supply all of your needs according to my riches and glory. God said, I need you to start preaching. I said, Lord, I don't even have the resources. He said, did I ask you what resources that you have? I'm in control. You need to use what I have given you. Use that gift that's on the inside of you. Then everything else is going to fall in place. God said, I don't need nobody else controlling you. Because guess what? You are my product. You are my vessel. Anybody that's going to be in control over you is me. And you'd be surprised if you would allow them people to control you to this day. You would never became the chosen one. You would have never became the best version of yourself. And the best version of yourself is the self-disciplined version of yourself. No, I don't fuck with y'all no more. No, I'm not going over there anymore. No, I have a purpose that needs to be fulfilled. No, I have God got plans for me. I'm good. No, you don't need to, you don't tell me what to do. I make my own money. I make my own moves. Just like at your, at your job, you got a controlling boss at your job. And it, it seems like every time you see this person, every time you come in contact with your boss, he got to control you, tell you what to do. Trying to boss you around is not what your boss is saying, is how he's saying it, chosen ones. I went through a season of that. That's one of the worst. When you got a controlling boss, he controlling your every move and he not even knowing, guess what? You can take his spot at will. He not even knowing the minute you, the minute he fire you, guess what? His business is getting ready to go down the drain. Why he controlling you like that? But the minute, hey amen, I promise you, the minute you, you, you say, I quit, I don't want to work here no more. And you start your own business. Glory be to God. You, you, hey amen, you start making your own money. You start becoming an entrepreneur. I promise you the next time you go back into that same boss that try to boss you around, I promise you they ain't going to like you. Trust me. Let me tell you something. You know how many jobs I've worked at? Do you know how many jobs that I've worked at, chosen ones? But I had so many bosses that try to boss me around. They had a controlling spirit. Until one day I said, you know what? You can take this job and you can shove it up your ass. You're not going to control me because you're stressing me. Don't you be afraid to put a comment below. And tell your boss in the comment below. I don't care if he see it today. You tell him in the comment below and say you ain't going to control me. Because guess what? You stressing me. Hell, the job already hard. And then you got somebody that's in high position. I can tell y'all about these spiritual wickedness in high places. You got somebody that's in high position trying to control you. Man, that's going to stress you the hell out. And you wonder why I keep telling you to email me. Join my WTC Mentor Program. Start your own business right now. You ain't got to go through that mess no more. But the minute I told these suckers I quit, you can keep this job. You can get this job to somebody else. They was looking stupid. Because you was controlling the wrong person at the job. You controlling the person that's bringing the energy up in here. You trying to control the person that's bringing you all this wealth in this job. But all of them little low vibrational spirits around there, they're not controlling them. They're not telling them what to do. But you the one with the big energy. You the one with the positive vibes. You the one with that gift on the inside of you. They want to control you because they so afraid of you. They're afraid of your potential. You're not even knowing. That's the real reason why people would try to control you. Oh, if I, if, 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 if I have the upper hand over him, if I can control him, guess what? I ain't got to worry about him growing. I ain't got to worry about him reaching his full potential. And you'd be surprised. Your authenticity, man. Your authenticity offends people. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Your realness, it offends people, man. Your energy, it offends people. So they have no choice but to try to control you because you're so real. They have no choice to try to control you because guess what? They know you belong to God. And even if you, even when you was going through the struggle, when you had two niggas to rub together, you got to realize people see your light before you even see your light. I'm telling you what's going on. People see your greatness before you even seen your own greatness. And you wonder why they were trying to control you because they were trying to hold you back. They were trying to hinder your growth. But God said, touch not my anointed one. Glory to God. Do my prophet no harm. 
So he removed you from that situation. He removed you from them controlling spirits. And look at you now. You calling your own shots. You making major moves. You in your calling. So God says, since you in your calling, you get to call your own shots. God says, since you in your purpose, guess what? You can tell people, hey, man, I'm good. I ain't got to go over there today. Because I'm doing the Lord's will. I'm doing the Lord's work. Now, people don't like you for that. Oh, well. People can't stand you because guess what? You decided to take a stand for Christ. You might as well not stand me because guess what? For God I live, for God I die. Don't you be afraid to put in the coming blow. Say you might as well can't stand me because guess what? I'm finally standing up for myself. I'm finally standing up for Christ. That was one of the best decisions I ever made in my life, children, was, was finally packing my shit and leaving that narcissistic relationship. Come to find out she's still the fucking same. You ain't nothing but a control freak. You trying to control everybody, but guess what? You ain't got no power. You ain't got no anointing. You'd be surprised how many people try to control you. You ain't got no power. They ain't got no anointing. Hey Amen. They, they living in this world. They really of this world. They demonic. You'd be surprised why people control you. They carry on the control spirit. But when they was controlled, you guess what you did? You never said a mumbling word. And God like, why are you not saying nothing back? Why are you letting people walk all over you? This is what God was telling me. Man, you got to speak your mind sooner or later, Mr. Jordan. I don't give a damn if you're in a relationship. I can care less if you're hanging out with these friends. God said you got a mind of your own. Do you know who you are? Do you know how intelligent you are, chosen ones? Do you know how brilliant you are? Do you know how dominant you are? You don't need nobody to control you. The devil is a liar. You are in the class of your own. What part you don't understand? They don't make them like you no more, baby. Think about Jesus, man, when he got crucified. We had to go through all these different pilots, all these different judges just to be crucified by people. Everybody thought that they was going to control Jesus and his destiny. Everybody thought they had the upper hand over Jesus. Yeah, crucify his ass. Yeah, we don't like him because guess what? This, this man over here healing people. He over here, amen, got a mind of his own. He over here thinking he can just deliver people. He over here thinking, amen, he can just call a shot, do what he want to do. You wonder why people don't like Jesus. Come on, who I'm talking to. But God said, you know what, Jesus said, you know what, I ain't going to say a mumbling word. Because sooner or later, I'm going to have all control. My God. Jesus said, you might think you're burying me. You might think you crucify me. But on the third day, I'm going to rise with all power in my hands. And now God is saying, I'm in control of it all. They went to the tomb and guess what? They couldn't even find him there. He wasn't even there. Mary and Magdalene went to the tomb where he laid. He was gone. Jesus came out of nowhere. He reappeared just to let you know, hey, man, they wasn't in control of nothing. My father, which is in heaven, had control over my whole destiny. Ah, my, 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 my. Don't you be afraid and put it in the comments below and say I am living proof. That my savior is in control of my destiny. When people thought they had the upper hand on you, God said, no, I have the upper hand over you. You shall be free at last. So don't you let nobody control you. Don't you let nobody own you. You own it. You stand up and own your destiny. You stand up and own your calling. You stand up and own what God has given you. You stand up and own it. Because guess what? You didn't ask for this. You were chosen for this. And since you were chosen for this, you got to tell the people that's looking at you saying, oh, it's like that. It's like this. 
Don't you be afraid to put in the comment below and say, yeah, it's like that. And I'm like that. So don't you forget, Chosen One. If you need a friend, you already know you got a friend in me. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. And if you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you already know you got the greatest motivational speaker in the whole wide world in your boy. But we still chosen if they ask. Go in peace. And just know that God is in control of it all. I love you. There is nothing you can do about it.